some unique wear bushings that go between the two the in this case between the quick coupler or your attachment and those are actually shimmable so as they wear you can shim them out and so forth and what that does is it takes up this lock between your attachment and so forth because you have to have some kind of there's a lot of pivot and so forth so that's a unique fish it's a hardened boil it's a hardened uh, spacer that we have in here and it works really well unique to do so some of the new features in the interim tier 4 we changed some of the bushings within the boom we've always seen when we come out with a new model you try to make some of bush in improvements uh, when you look at your quality reports they made a change in the bushing and the attachment you've got the um, <coughs> what they call it's it's a bushing with uh, if you look at look at a golf ball it's got little dimples in and that's kind of like the bushing if you it's got dimples in what the benefit of that is it holds the grease and the debris if there's any debris it'll just go into those little dimples and so forth plus the grease will stay in there longer life um, we still recommend the, ser the usual service but there's been an improvement where a little grease a little less often it doesn't hurt it um, as you go up the stick on everything above the 300 <coughs> we have centralized uh, greasing you can see the grease right there you can lay your boom lay your boom down your stick out a little bit you can grease centralized grease and grease all the bushings that are up higher you don't have to get a ladder and so forth that's everything from a 30 ton on up we have a lot of standard features that some of a lot of our competition isn't standard we got a heated air ride seat when you get in it you can adjust the the air pressure up and down it's just an air <coughs> little air pump one of the new features also is the seven inch monitor um, it's a nice large monitor it's a standard equipment it comes with it in the back machine as we walk around there's a rear view camera that monitor acts as that display for the rear view camera too um, <coughs> so rear view camera is standard uh, on the Doosan excavators uh, except for the uh, 63 and the 85 and that's where you actually can set all your power modes and you also one of the other features that you have you can actually have like five different or ten different settings on attachments. Um, five settings for one-way hydraulics, five more for two-way hydraulics. And with those settings, which is a nice feature, is if you have multiple tools like a hammer or something like that, you can actually set them up to where if you, uh, like a pack road, take different flow, different pressure. So when you switch hydraulics, you just go in there and select which attachment you have on there and you're ready to go. Come standard with AC, heat. It, every excavator above um, three, the 300 they pulled out when they went to interim tier 4 they went with a, uh, the hydraulic um, heat exchanger uh, radiator they pulled it separated it. it used to be stacked all stacked on the one area right on the engine one fan now they've actually separated it and increased the actual cooling capacity of the machine because that's one of the issues that when going for, to interim tier 4 was a lot more heat generated because of the burning of the soot and the uh, for the after treatment and so forth the engines running hotter and so forth um, a lot of the competition some of them actually had it to the height the back is really hard to see out because the hood is really high uh, what we've done we've actually separated the, <coughs> the cooling system um, which helped out which gave us like 15 percent increase in cooling capacity the hydraulic system on the DX3 50 is actually new, unique. What they call it is, uh, we call it a D equal power. And what it is is the <coughs> electronic control pump. So what that has given us the capability is we got more control over, because <coughs> what you have control over right now, it's on the other machines, you got control over the engine. It's got its own little controller that controls the whole engine. Then you also have this, the hydraulics of the whole machine with the the equal power and the electronic control belt now they've actually can program the hydraulic system there's a lot a few more air uh, pressure sensors and so forth that's interfacing so when you move the joystick it responds the pump responds so you're actually getting the <coughs> getting the hydraulic flow and the pressure when you need it so it's improved on um, productivity and just performance and so forth there's been a lot of improvements we've done some testing on this particular machine and with um, operators that aren't from Doosan or anything and they're really impressed with how smooth the machine is and uh, a great improvement on the uh, fuel efficiency with our testing we found and so forth as much as 
10, 15 percent over tier three. We did some testing up against our competition on fuel economy and we've seen ranges from 3 percent all the way up to 24 percent over our competition. Um, we also with this machine, oh, with, uh, like I was talking about the power modes, you've got the economy <coughs> and and standard power, power plus. Uh, ran some trenching tests. When I say we run some tests, we actually trench for 20 minutes. And there's two operators, like I said, aren't from Doosan. They trench for 20 minutes. So it's more of a real world application. You see the soil when you guys are digging, it's really tough. And uh, I've seen some our numbers with comparing economy mode to power plus mode. I've seen some numbers as 20, <coughs> well, 23% improvement in fuel economy. And you got to understand you're going to sacrifice because your RPMs are lower and your hydraulics aren't good, you're going to sacrifice some productivity, but what I've seen is only like a 6% decrease in productivity going from economy to uh, power plus.